what are you looking to see from Senishin, the guy that uh, he's been up yet? No, he hasn't. So he'll go in. Um, and you don't know. It's his first NHL game. I hope nerves go by quickly. Um, these are tough for guys at the end of the year. Uh, but it's, you know, better late than never type of, uh, I guess, way to look at it sometimes, too. you you got to go in under the circumstances presented to you. Who was it this year that came up? Was it back his first game at the fly across the country to Vancouver? So, I mean, sometimes it is what it is. He got in this morning, gets a bit of a practice, uh, sh sh short practice under his belt, uh, comes into a good environment. Uh, I hope he just goes out and plays a uh, solid 200-foot game. He's a great skater, so put some pressure on the D, makes him uncomfortable, tacks the net off the wing, um, and whatever falls into place from there, we'll, we'll wait and see. How's Coyle settled into the team since the trade? Uh, very well. We used him uh, center at first, moved him to right wing. Uh, we had some issues there with injuries, so we moved him up. Uh, did well there. You know, we want him to play center for us going forward. Uh, Johansson now has come back from injuries. A guy that we, you know, they may develop some chemistry. They were good last night. Uh, we'll see where that goes. Uh, so I think he's been he's been really good for us. Um, he's a quiet guy, so I don't know. Uh, I don't get too much into the long discussions with him about, you know, hey, how's it? You know, I think that the players here are pretty receptive. He's been in the league a long time, so. It looks like he's acclimated himself well, but he'd probably be best suited to answer that for him. What stood out just about his skill set <coughs> then, if like, you've noticed that he's brought Puck possession uh, in the O-zone when he's on, he has it a long period of time. Uh, we're just trying to get him to, I guess, attack at the right time um, and then make plays to slot at the right time, when to kick it low to high. So that's part of his um, natural abilities and part of how we play a little bit. So we're, we're kind of trying to meet halfway there. Uh, it's been good on draws. Uh, defensively, he's had good matchups. We're, we're fine with whatever line he plays against. Um, and that's kind of what he's brought to us so far. Is Johansson dealing with anything from last night? Yeah, he got hit by David Kretschy, his own player. Um, and we th you know, as soon as you see it happen to me, because it was unsuspecting, obviously, um, you're worried. But he got up and he was fine. But he did have a little bit of residual effect from that. So. Uh, we kept him off this morning. We anticipate he'll play tomorrow, but that's part of you know what we talked about with Matt. You know, going into the lines and lineup tomorrow will depend on everyone's health. You're about to go to your 300th game. I believe that. Uh, how are you different now versus game one? Well, in game one, I, I can barely remember. Uh, it was probably what 18 or 17 years ago. It's just a long time in between. Uh, I have to think back. I do remember we played at home against Nashville. So now I remember. How am I different? Um, boy, probably, probably in the way most people are just different after doing something every year in, year out for that amount of time. You just, you've got more experience. You're a little less uh, emotional probably with little things that happen. You're better able to deal with them. A lot of changes in my life between then and then. Obviously, uh, uh, two young kids at home sort of balance you out a lot better so um, without getting into too much of it I just think the experience factor and you know, different stages in your life allow you to you know, approach and deal with things differently. Some things are the same I still like to work hard in preparation and um, you know have offensive ideas that you're always tinkering with so that, that part hasn't changed much with the other part.